Jarhead is a 2005 war drama directed by Sam Mendes and starring Jamie Foxx and Jake Gyllenhaal. It also has uh, Evan Jones, who is who I know from 8 Mile and a few other films. He's the guy from 8 Mile that ended up uh, shooting himself in the groin. <laughs> Uh, this film is also based on a book uh, by Anthony Swafford, I'm pretty sure, and uh, it's like an autobi autobiographical book on himself, and then they adapted it into Jarhead. Now, this is the first time, th this is the second time, sorry, that I've seen this film. I caught it on Netflix. It's actually leaving Canadian Netflix tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's why I'm not advertising for Netflix, because it's going to be gone off Canadian Netflix, and... Uh, I don't really want to say it's there because <laughs> it's not going to be, but um, I'm sure possibly it could be streaming somewhere else or if anybody uses uh, VPNs, I'm sure you can get it streaming elsewhere or just go buy the Blu-ray or DVD or check it out somewhere. But regardless, um, the first time I watched this film, I, was, uh, I watched it in theaters, so I would have been 16. And I remember not liking it at all, and I never revisited it since because I didn't care for it. I'm not a war film guy. Like, I'm not a military fan. I'm not... I've never been. Um, I don't mind war films. I mean, these kind of films I watch for the filmmaking and the film experience, not because I am a huge, you know, military gun guy or anything like that. Um, but I didn't like the film because it was, well, I was a teen. I was expecting something like action-packed and shooting and, you know, people at battle the whole film, but it's not. It's a quiet film and it's more of a drama and it really focuses on like the mental side of being in the war and like the background stuff where you're basically just sitting in the desert for days and days and days and bored out of your mind. And uh, this film really dives deep into that. And um, I really, like, I saw it on Netflix and I decided to give it a, a second go with a more mature mindset and knowing what I was getting into and um, seeing what it was like. And I actually really enjoyed this film. Um, it was really well shot. The, the camera work is great. The cinematography is awesome. Sam Mendes really knows what he's doing with... Uh, with the style of the film and, and creating that uh, visual aesthetic. And um, the idea behind it and the way they portrayed the, the deterioration of everybody's, you know, <laughs> mental uh, health during this time and the sheer boredom of being, uh, you know, sent off the, these troops and everything. Um, I always ask the question why people get themselves into the military and war anyway. Like, there, you know, there's scenes where like they're they're watching Apocalypse Now and they're all cheering like with it's singing along to the or humming along to the anthem, and they're all like jockey and acting like men and they're like yeah and they're like cheering on when the when they're dropping bombs on the Vietnamese and all that. It's like oh my gosh. And, um, yeah, they're so excited for, for war and, and to do something. And it's funny because when they get so bored in the desert, um, they, all they, like, all they want to do to, to release their boredom is, uh, is, is, is fight somebody, is find a kill. And, uh, I don't know how much spoilers I want to get to, into with this review. I mean, it's a 2005 film, but I, I still don't want to get into too many spoilers but I'll just say that um, Jake Gyllenhaal's the situation starts to get to him big time uh, there's a scene with him involving uh, another soldier I think his name is Troy and um, he he basically threatens to kill him and uh, and blame it on accidental misfire of the gun um, that scene's intense and uh, there's a scene also closer to the end where another soldier, again, one that is is going to be uh, cut from the army because apparently they found him lying about a criminal record. And uh, he has a mental breakdown closer to the climax of the film where all he wants is a kill. And uh, the the soldier, the, the guy above him, the, the guy above his rank, uh, denies him that kill. And he just 
totally, totally has a mental breakdown because he had the perfect shot and, and didn't get his one kill, which is just sad, but scary and, and insane to think about. Um, a lot of these soldiers also left wives and girlfriends back home, and that plays a mental struggle with Jake Gyllenhaal as the lead, with his girlfriend, and, um, and another guy who uh, had his wife send him a VHS cassette of the movie The Deer Hunter, um, except on, like, recorded on the, on this movie of The Deer Hunter was her filming a homemade porno with the neighbor. Um, and then this guy watches it and he just flips out, obviously. But uh, just the mental torture with so many things um, going on with these soldiers and and um, and how much effect this boredom has on on their psyche is uh, is really, really well portrayed. And uh, like I said, this is me watching this film from a way different perspective than when I was a teen. And I got a lot more out of it. Uh, it's still awkward, I must say, to watch a bunch of men constantly talk about jerking off and uh, that desert scene where <laughs> they they all pretend to be like fucking each other and sucking each other and like obviously fully clothed, but still they're like acting and acting it out and everything. And one guy's like on all fours while all the other guys get behind him and pretend to fuck him in the ass. Um, and then there's the scene where Jake Gyllenhaal is jacking off to a picture of his wife and it doesn't show anything but it's just awkward to watch a dude you know help help himself out and he apparently nothing's working because he's he, he's trying to do it and he's like fuck fuck and he's like banging on the wall because i assume he uh he can't uh make shit happen <laughs> this is after um a fight with his girlfriend on the phone and i mean that's also got to be devastating the separation and not knowing you know having your mind race your your mind's already racing with with the war and the fear and the boredom and then you have on top of it you know what's my girlfriend doing at home could she possibly be cheating and all the guys because they're fucking assholes are as a joke egging their friends on more and like yeah yeah i bet your wife's getting fucked you know like three four times a day man like it's just the way it is it's like yeah and um and they really portrayed that scene well too when the guy thinks he's gonna watch the deer hunter but then watches a homemade videotape of his wife cheating on him and uh and that gets jake Hall's mind racing even more and they really they really did that in a nice subtle way that uh that was very believable and uh, I liked the way that was directed um, but it's it's you know it's 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 kind of one of those films that's a tough pill to swallow and um, I do want to watch the direct to video sequels there's three of them there's Jarhead 2 3 and then Jarhead titled something else they'll be cool to watch I wonder what they're like I wonder if they go more on the action route I wonder if they stay to the autobiographical route where they're kind of doing the character study thing. Uh, I'm curious. I've never like really seen the trailers or anything like that, but they'd be cool to marathon and uh, they're really cheap on Blu-ray. Um, I've seen them at a few used stores, used video stores. So I might uh, go pick those up and, and uh, check them out since I haven't seen them s streaming anywhere. Um, and if they suck, let me know. <laughs> you can always just tell me, you know, no, fuck them. They're, they're, they're all shit. Um, I ended up giving Jarhead a four out of five. I really had a good time with it. Um, and like I said, I, I would do a deep dive, but I, when it comes to streaming movies, I usually like to keep them spoiler free. But if I give this one another watch sometime, maybe I'll do a deeper dive into it and, and explain a lot more of how I feel about each character uh, specifically. I thought the guy from, um, from 8 Mile, uh, Evan Jones was uh, was good too. He really did remind me of his character in 8 Mile. He was kind of like the same guy, except more soldier-like. But um, his psyche too, like, you know, there's the, the, at night in the desert where he's kind of, they're digging holes to sleep in and he's in his own and then they notice that he has a burnt body of a Saudi Arabian guy, a Saudi Arabian soldier and he's like playing with him like a puppet and uh, yeah, it's, it, there's scenes that 
uh, really display the the mental fuckery of of these of what these soldiers are experiencing, and uh, it's uh, it, it's a it's a good character study of a movie rather than a full blown you know action war movie. It's not really like that, and I really am interested in um, in reading the book for sure as well. Um, but that's all I got for now, so uh, subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for what's coming, check out what's on the channel already, and uh, go check out Jarhead somewhere if you can. Have a good one, take care, and cheers.